Hey, what's going on guys? It's Frolix here, bringing you another video on the channel. In today's video, guys, we're going to be going over five things that you should never do or buy in GTA 5 online. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Just before we get it started, today is the last day for the giveaway that I'm doing on Twitter. So if you guys do want to go and enter that, this is the last day. Don't worry if you guys don't win. I'm going to do a ton more giveaways during this quarantine slash lockdown. So just stay tuned for those. And don't forget, it's also partially sponsored by Digazani. If you guys want to go and check them out, you can. Their link is down below in the description. They offer a ton of packages for GTA 5, Call of Duty, Fortnite, night and a bunch of other games and you can get 10% off using code Frolix. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video and without further ado, let's get it started. So number one on this list is going to be gambling at the casino. Now when it came out, everybody was gambling in the casino. It was really fun and honestly, I love doing it. You can win a ton of money, but if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to lose so much money. Like I've lost a ton of money and I know what I'm doing. So if you go into here and you start playing all these table games and slot machines and stuff and you have no idea what you're doing, you're going to end up losing hundreds of thousands of dollars, especially if you already own a penthouse because then you can play at the high stakes lounge and also another thing if you guys really do want to go and gamble i would suggest going to horse racing horse racing is probably one of the easier ones that you guys can actually win some money from at the first little bit when the casino first came out in the game it was so simple to win you could pretty much win every single time by only spending a hundred bucks and winning ten thousand forty thousand fifty thousand dollars then they patched it and then it got really bad but it seems that rockstar has actually kind of fixed the horse racing odds after they patched the glitch for horse racing it pretty much became impossible to win on it but it seems they've recently fixed it so if you guys really did want to go and gamble horse racing would be your best bet if you don't know anything about table games and slot machines so coming up in the number two spot is going to be buying a shooting range and buying a gun locker let's talk about the shooting range first yeah it's kind of cool you can get them in your bunker and i believe you can also get it somewhere else too i'm not really sure yeah it is somewhat cool to have a shooting range in one of your own facilities or bunkers or whatever but if you guys really want to go to a shooting range just go over to the ammunition and then you guys can shoot any of the guns you want yeah it is a little bit easier if you guys are doing it in your bunker there's not as much loading screens and everything but is it really worth seven hundred and forty five thousand dollars not to mention it's a little bit racist the white one is more expensive than the black one i always make that joke in my live streams but anyways yeah it's a ton of money it's eight hundred and forty five thousand dollars for the more expensive one and then when it comes to gun lockers why would you even bother to spend a penny on this if you didn't want to use the guns then just don't buy them or just drop them because most likely the guns probably didn't cost too much money unless you fully upgraded them but like like, the only reason I would see to actually purchase a gun locker is if you are a really hardcore tryhard and you actually use it every single day, multiple times in one gaming session. If you don't use it like that, I would not suggest buying it. It is just a complete waste of money. So coming up at number three on this list is going to be purchasing the Maze Bank Tower. Now, I've talked about this in other videos before. This is the most expensive CEO office that you can buy in the game, as you guys know, and it comes in at $4 million, and that's base price, that's with no upgrades. It costs a ton of money to own this building, and it's literally just because it's in the center of the city. But, did you guys know the Arcadius Business Center is a lot cheaper and it's literally diagonal like literally across the block from the maze bank tower and it costs way less to actually upgrade if you guys wanted to fully upgrade the maze bank tower it costs 13 million dollars right now though if you really did want to buy the maze bank tower it's on sale for 50 percent off so if you really wanted it this would be the time to buy it because it's a lot cheaper than it normally is and of course, if you guys really did want to buy an office building, I would highly suggest purchasing the Maze Bank West, considering it's only a million dollars and it's also on sale for 500k right now. But if you really did want to have a nice CEO office and spend a bit of money, I would suggest purchasing the Arcadius Business Center. Number one, it's a lot cheaper. Personally, I think it's a lot cooler. It has its own underground parking garage and none of the other office buildings have that, which makes it a little bit cooler. And don't forget the interiors and garages are all the exact same in every single one of the office buildings. So it's literally just about the location and the maze bank tower is in the center of the city but if you're okay with walking about five seconds to the left the arcadius business center is going to be sitting right there so if you really want an office building buy one of the other three instead of the maze bank tower coming in at number four on this list and this is something that i see so many people do all the time and that's going to be being afk in a public lobby and just being out in the open i was actually going to do the 100 kd challenge video today and I was killing so many people that were just walking around in a circle in a public lobby. Like, there's literally no purpose for that. And especially if you guys have cash in your pockets, every time somebody kills you or you die, you're gonna drop some of that money. So you're just gonna end up losing money if you do that. If you really wanna stand AFK somewhere in a public lobby, 
just go into your apartment and put the TV on or something like that, or at least go underneath a bridge or just hide somewhere that's far away from a lot of other players so you don't get killed. Don't just do it right when you go into the lobby, you're standing in the middle of the road. There are a ton of people that love to kill and really care about their KD, so if they see a free kill, they are going to kill you a hundred times if they get the chance. So it's just a lot smarter to just be AFK in a different lobby, or if you're just not there, then just leave the lobby and go into story mode, and when you come back, just load into a new lobby. Why bother to lose money, drop your KD down, and make yourself look like a noob? And the fifth thing that you guys should never buy or do in GTA 5 is get any kind of arcade machines. If you guys own an arcade, that's awesome. Enjoy doing the Diamond Casino heist, that's the purpose of the arcade. But if you guys actually spend money on arcade games, you're gonna see that they cost a ton of money. And if you fully upgrade your arcade, it costs around $10 million. I guarantee you, you guys haven't gone onto GTA 5 to go inside of your arcade and play arcade games within an actual game that you're playing. There's really no purpose of doing that. Yeah, it does look kind of cool, but there's really no reason for you to actually buy them. Why would you play a video game to just go play another video game within a video game? Like, it doesn't really make too much sense. But of course, if you have millions or billions of dollars in this game and you just wanna have fun, buy everything, literally buy everything. It's so fun to buy everything in the game and you just have it at your disposal whenever you want and you don't need to care about it. But if you actually grind on this game and you try to make money, there's just some things that you should always stay away from. And there's a bunch of other stuff that you should stay away from in GTA 5. If you want me to make another one of these videos, top 10 things that you should never do or buy in GTA 5, drop a like on the video and I'll have that video up very, very soon. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up the video for today. Thank you so much for watching it. I hope you did enjoy it. And hopefully you guys don't end up buying any of the things that I told you not to buy in this video because they're just going to waste your money and there's really no point in doing that. Like the point of the game is to make money and have fun of course. If any of the things in this video actually seem fun to you and you want to buy them because you want to have fun and enjoy it, then obviously buy them. It's a game you're supposed to have fun but if you're trying to save money, you want to save up for something cool and awesome, then save up for that and don't waste money on the small things that I mentioned in this video. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to go and enter the giveaway down below in the description. There's less than 24 hours until the winner is picked so go and enter really quick. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next video